Like the idea of investing in great businesses for the long haul, looking for higher yields and greater long-term total return prospects? Want to know my top five stocks for September 2022? Then you have to check out today's video. He is a best-selling author. 30-year-old Jason Fieber has a plan. This guy retired at only 33 years old. I don't know if I know too many people that have accomplished something like that. He's really kind of a guru when it comes to passive income. Before I get into today's content, if you want exclusive access to my personal six-figure stock portfolio and alerts on any new investments I make, check out the Patreon link in the description below. The market continues its roller coaster-like behavior. As I shoot this video, the US Federal Reserve's annual Jackson Hole Symposium has wrapped up only days ago. And boy, the market did not like Chairman Jay Powell's speech. The Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped 1,000 points after Powell wrapped up his remarks. But if you're a young, long-term dividend growth investor who is still actively accumulating shares in wonderful businesses, this is exactly what you want. All else equal, lower prices result in higher yields. That's more passive dividend income on the same invested dollar. Plus, it sets you up for better long-term total return prospects. Seeing short-term volatility as a long-term opportunity is something that helped me to go from below broke at age 27 to financially free at 33. By the way, I explain exactly how I achieved financial freedom in just six years in my early retirement blueprint. If you're interested, you can download a free copy of my early retirement blueprint using the link in the description of this video. That said, not all volatility is created equal, nor are all stocks created equal. Focusing on the very best long-term ideas right now is what this video is all about. Today, I want to tell you my top Five dividend growth stocks for September 2022. Ready? Let's dig in. My first dividend growth stock pick for September 2022 is Air Products and Chemicals Inc. Stock ticker APD. Air Products and Chemicals is a global producer and supplier of industrial gases. Industrial gases are critical input for the manufacturing processes of many different end products ranging from electronics to vehicles. Because of the critical but low cost nature of these industrial gases, a manufacturer will set up a long-term contract with a dependable provider of these gases. That sounds like money to me. Air Products and Chemicals has compounded its revenue at an annual rate of 0.8% over the last decade, while earnings per share has compounded at an annual rate of 6.3% over the last decade. Restructuring, divestitures, and lumpy gap earnings skews this negatively. For perspective, the company's guidance for adjusted earnings per share for this fiscal year at the midpoint is calling for 14% year-over-year growth. Furthermore, CFRA believes that air products and chemicals will compound its earnings per share at an annual rate of 15% over the next three years. That should allow the company to continue growing its dividend at a high rate. Already with 40 consecutive years of dividend increases, this is an esteemed dividend aristocrat. So the dividend reliability here isn't in question. The 10 year dividend growth rate of 10.1% further goes to show this company's dividend pedigree and the stock even yields a rather appealing 2.5%. The payout ratio is 62.9% based on midpoint guidance for this fiscal year's adjusted earnings Per share, a bit high, but not concerning. And with an acceleration in EPS growth expected to play out, this payout ratio should compress. This is a great business available for what looks like a great valuation. The price to earnings ratio is sitting at 25.6, which is well off of its own five-year average of 29.1. Because of lumpy gap earnings per share that often do not accurately reflect the company's true earnings power, these numbers look somewhat high. Still, we can see that the current earnings multiple is quite a bit lower than it usually is. 
We put out a full analysis and valuation video on air products and chemicals only weeks ago, showing why the business could be worth about $330 per share. As I shoot this video, we're currently around $262 a share, so I see a lot of possible upside here. Don't forget about this dividend aristocrat. My second dividend growth stock pick for September 2022 is BlackRock Inc, stock ticker BLK. BlackRock is a multinational asset manager. With approximately $8.5 trillion in assets under management, BlackRock is the largest asset manager in the world. It's arguable that no company does it better than BlackRock. It's inarguable that no company does it bigger than BlackRock. And this is an area where you want massive scale as you're taking advantage of exponential growth in global capital markets to a disproportionate degree. And sure, we can talk about the law of large numbers, but it hasn't stopped BlackRock. Indeed, the company grew its revenue at a compound annual growth rate of 8.5% and its earnings per share at a compound annual growth rate of 12% over the last decade. Excellent business growth, even at scale, and that has led to excellent dividend growth. BlackRock has increased its dividend for 13 consecutive years, and what a start they're off to. The five-year dividend growth rate is 12.5%, which lines right up with EPS growth. Along with that double-digit dividend growth rate, the stock yields a market-beating 2.9%. And with a payout ratio of 51.4%, BlackRock almost perfectly balances retaining earnings for business growth against returning capital back to shareholders. Love it. Want another reason to invest in BlackRock? How about an attractive valuation? Asset management is a fantastic business model. There's a rising tide, global equities, exponentially lifting all boats, except BlackRock is the largest boat in that rising tide, and that bodes well for the fees they can generate. Despite that, the stock is trading hands for a price earnings ratio of only 17.8. That's well below its own five-year average of 19.4. We recently put together a video highlighting BlackRock's quality and valuation, and that video shows an estimate for the business's fair value at nearly $900 a share. That video should go live soon. With the stock currently priced around $675, BlackRock looks seriously undervalued. Valued. Take a look at it. My third dividend growth stock pick for September 2022 is Eastman Chemical Company, stock ticker EMN. Eastman Chemical is a global specialty chemical company. Eastman Chemical has exposure to nearly every industry you could think of spread out across most major markets in the world. Countless everyday end products that are used in everyday life require advanced materials and chemicals in order to be manufactured. What this means is that Eastman Chemical forms part of the backbone of the global manufacturing chain which has led to solid growth across the business. Revenue has a compound annual growth rate of 2.9% over the last decade, while earnings per share has a compound annual growth rate of 8.8% over that period. Solid business growth, solid dividend growth. The company has increased its dividend for 12 consecutive years with a 10-year dividend growth rate of 11.1%. So the growth of the dividend has outpaced earnings per share growth over the last decade, but the size of dividend increases can be a bit inconsistent here. Just something to keep in mind. What is really interesting about Eastman Chemical is that its yield of 3.2%, which smokes the broader market, is actually quite high when you line it up against that high dividend growth rate. It's tough to complain about a 3% plus yield and an 11% plus long-term dividend growth rate. And the payout ratio at 31.2% based on midpoint adjusted EPS guidance for this fiscal year reveals a super secure dividend. This under the radar dividend growth stock looks cheap here. Every basic valuation metric I look at indicates cheapness. A good example is the price to earnings ratio of 10.4. That's nearly a single digit PE ratio, which is crazy for a business that's proven itself capable of growing at a high single digit rate. This is almost half of the broader market earnings multiple. It's also significantly lower than its own five-year average of 17.3. We just put out a video going over how cheap Eastman Chemical looks. In that video, which also analyzes the entire business, the estimate for fair value came out to almost $125 a share. The stock is currently priced around $95. Again, it looks cheap. If you can stomach some of the cyclicality that comes with a chemical business, Eastman Chemical is a very, very interesting idea right now. My fourth dividend growth stock pick for September 2022 is Lockheed Martin Corporation, stock ticker. Lockheed Martin is the world's largest defense contractor. We have a very simple long-term investment thesis here. 
here. It's human nature. Conflict is part of human nature, unfortunately. That was true when we were fighting with rocks. It's true now that we're fighting with missiles, and it'll be true 1,000 years from now. Well, Lockheed Martin is the world's largest defense contractor headquartered in the world's largest spender on sovereign defense products and services. It's a slam dunk. This is why Lockheed Martin has compounded its revenue at a 4% annual rate and its earnings per share at an annual rate of 11.8% over the last decade. You know what else is a slam dunk? The dividend. It's a dividend that's been increased for 19 consecutive years, and I really think Lockheed Martin is just getting started with that. The 10-year dividend growth rate of 12.5% is paired with a current yield of 2.6%. Pretty solid combination there. And with a moderate payout ratio of 52%, based on the company's EPS guidance for this fiscal year, the dividend is almost guaranteed to head higher from here. Best of all, the stock looks inexpensive. So conflict is part of human nature, but you know what else is part of human nature? The desire for a good deal. Well, most metrics here are indicating some cheapness. For example, the price to cash flow ratio of 13.1 is well off of its own five year average of 17. So what is the stock worth? Well, we recently put out a full analysis and valuation video on Lockheed Martin's business estimating fair value at nearly $450 a share. The stock is currently priced at $430. Super cheap? No, but it looks like a good deal on a great business that has a ramping demand runway for its products that extends far beyond my lifetime. It's worth consideration if not capital. My fifth dividend growth stock pick for September 2022 is Texas Instruments Incorporated, stock ticker TXN. Texas Instruments is a technology company that designs and manufactures semiconductors. The company's focus on analog chips and embedded processors has set it up to be a critical part of the value chain for a variety of applications, ranging from smartphones to autos, because its products are often both necessary and low cost. That's a powerful mix, which strengthens its competitive positioning. And it's why Texas Instruments has been consistently growing the business with its revenue compounding at an annual rate of 4.1% and its earnings per share compounding at an annual rate of 20.8% over the last 10 years. Double digit bottom line growth, double digit dividend growth. Yep, Texas Instruments has increased its dividend for 18 consecutive years already, and I have little doubt they'll be increasing the dividend for another 18 consecutive years. The 10-year dividend growth rate of 22.4% shows what a dividend growth monster this name has been. That kind of high growth rate often means you have to sacrifice yield, but not in this case. The stock yields 2.7%. It's rare that you get a near 3% yield with a 20% plus long-term dividend growth rate. Another great thing about this dividend, the payout rate ratio is 50.3%, which is basically a perfect harmony between retaining capital and rewarding shareholders. I love it. This is a very high quality dividend growth stock and the valuation looks reasonable. You know, I'd actually argue that Texas Instruments is worth paying a premium for, but I don't think you have to, not at the current valuation. The price earnings ratio of 18.4 is favorably disconnected from its own five-year average of 24.1. The price to cash flow ratio of 18 tells a similar, albeit less extreme story. It's measurably lower than its own five-year average of 19.3. Also, that aforementioned 2.7% yield is 30 basis points higher than its own recent historical average. I really like this business up to $185 a share. It's available for $168 a share as I shoot this video. If your portfolio could use some tech exposure, this is one of my very best long-term ideas in this space for dividend growth investors. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give us a like if you did, and let us know in the comments what you think about these top five dividend growth stocks for September 2022. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss out on new content. Also take a look at the description box below for some important links, including the link to my personal stock portfolio. This six-figure portfolio, which I call the Fire Fund, generates enough passive dividend income for me to live off of. It allowed me to retire in my early 30s. I made my portfolio entirely accessible over a Patreon, and I also post alerts there whenever I buy or sell a stock. I put my money where my mouth is, and I'm often invested in the same high quality dividend growth stocks that I make videos on. Over the years, I've heard from thousands of investors who've been profiting from many of the same exact stocks that I own. So if you think this is something that you could benefit from as well, check the link in the description to see my portfolio and start getting my buy and sell alert. I'll see you next time.